Paris Joy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited because today I'm showing you my everyday go-to natural makeup look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So my makeup lasts. I always start with primer. One of my favorites is a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It really makes your skin feel like sticky after putting it on. So all the following makeup products really like grip to your face. I really love this one. It's definitely a holy grail for me. It feels so nice and smooth. And then I always like to give it a few seconds just to really melt into the skin or just speed up the process. You can be a little fancy and use a fan. It kind of, it held for a second. Did you see that? Like it's, it's sticky. For my face, if I want to keep it a bit more natural, I like mixing a foundation with a tinted moisturizer. So I use the Rodan and Fields Radiant Defense. It's like a tinted moisturizer with SPF. This is in the shade Golden. Put a little bit all over the face. And then I go in with my favorite foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This also has oh, SPF 10 in it. This is in the shade Ivory Beige. And I just like to dab a little bit of this all over the face as well. The only thing I wish this bottle had was like a pump or something so I don't have to like pour it out or like put a brush in. I just wish it kind of had a pump, but I do really, really love this foundation. The foundation has a great amount of coverage, but it also just looks like your skin and then it lasts like literally all day. It's so good. And yes, I'm going to just honestly rub this in with my hands. Also, don't mind my nails that have fallen off. I need to redo my nails tomorrow, so just, just ignore that for now. I'm gonna go wet my beauty blender. I'll be back. Okay, I do sometimes go in and just make sure everything's blended with my beauty blender. And then that is my... I don't know what that bang was. I'm just gonna ignore whatever that was. I might do my makeup in a weird order, but there's like method to my madness, I promise. Now I go in with my bronzer and I've been loving the Patrick Ta bronzer and also his brush as well. This is in the shade She's Bronzed. I start with the cream and the little side of the brush. I like to put it nice and high just because I like to look lifted. So if you put it above your cheekbone, it gives you that like lift and sculpted look. Some on the forehead, a little at the jaw, and then some down the nose. And then I'm just gonna keep dabbing until it's blended in, but this kind of melts into the skin pretty fast, so it doesn't take much blending. And I also blend it literally like into my hairline so I don't have any harsh lines. I really just like to blend it in. And then if I ever feel like I need it, I always go back in with my beauty blender just to really make sure everything is Nice and blended into the skin. Moving on to blush again, loving Patrick Tarte. This is in the shade She's Vibrant. And this is honestly like my holy grail uh, blush. I am obsessed. So of course going with the cream. And again, I put it above my bronzer. Keep it a little bit for the back because again, I like to look like lifted and like sculpted back. Also, this is literally the perfect summer shade. I used to be scared of something kind of so deep and like vibrant, but I found that it really works for my skin tone and now I can never go back. I love it. When you find like the color that kind of works for your skin tone, it's just game changing, honestly. And I always also put some on my nose and I always look like Rudolph. Trust me, just, just blend it out and it will fix itself. And if I ever go overboard, which is like every single time let's be real beauty blender fixes everything so i drew all my cream products first working up towards the face and end with concealer because then i find my concealer blends into the blush and really makes it like a seamless blend which i personally love if you haven't tried it out in this like method you definitely should but i use the benefit boying cakeless concealer in the shade number three bring it i put it under my eyes I'm doing a bit of like reverse contouring and then on any like spots or blemishes or darkness I want to cover. And I actually, ooh, English parrots. I actually like to use a brush to blend in ooh, my, and then I like to blend it in using a little brush and then again, slightly lifting it up, blending into the blush line to give a seamless blend. You can also kind of take some up and onto your lid as well to kind of prep that. Of course, just when I start filming, my neighbors start playing music and their instruments. Now we go in back through the steps and set all the cream products with powder. So that's why I love these Patrick Ta little palettes because they have the cream and the powder, which is perfect. So I use the fluffy side of the brush and go back in and set the bronzer. And then taking a smaller angled brush, I like to go down my nose. And if I want a bit of bronzer in my crease, I kind of take it up and follow it into the eye as well. If I just want to add a little bit of dimension and kind of connect it all as one. 
going in with my blush. This is literally my favorite blush ever. Again, keeping it really high up, almost where you'd put highlighter because then it lifts your face. And on the nose, and I even sometimes do like a little on the chin or like on the forehead. I know that sounds crazy, but I kind of just like a little bit everywhere. It makes whole cohesive kind of look. Just gonna blend out any creases before we set with loose powder. I love, love, love this Fenty Beauty powder. Mine is in number two butter. It also smells like cake batter, like I'm obsessed with how it smells. It's so, mm, so good. Beauty blender puff. I dab it in, then dab the excess on my hand and then dab it under my under eye. Also, if you want your under eye to look super duper smooth, dab the powder in as if it's a cream instead of just like putting it on and leaving it. I also carve down the sides of my nose, set my T-zone. And anytime I'm carving my face, I look straight ahead to see right where I want the powder to cut. Kind of like it above my cheekbone to again, get that lifted look. Go back in with my bronzer brush just to kind of blend in that powder and add any excess bronzer because I like it to be like carved out but not like just a line you know you still want it to be blended and then if there's any excess just going in with a big fluffy brush remove it from under the eyes Charlotte Tilbury setting spray is my favorite I always find that this step really just makes it like look like your skin instead of like powders I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty highlighter in the shade Enlighten. Put it on the back of my hand first. And to stop you getting just like a line of highlighter, spray your setting spray on your cheekbones. So your cheeks are like wet. And you're gonna dab it in to the setting spray and then it kind of melts it into your skin so it stops it from just being like a line of highlighter. Then grabbing a smaller brush, I need to see. Put some on the tip of my nose and the nose bridge. My favorite is putting it on the inner corner. I just feel like this really opens up your eyes, makes you look awake, like it honestly makes the biggest difference. Brow bone and the cupid's bow. That way we are glowing from the gods. Sometimes if I'm feeling a little extra and I really want to make sure my under eyes are set, I will go in with a powder. I love the little Charlotte Tilbury one. And I will take some on the same little beauty blender puff and go under my eyes. I never miss this step in summer because it's like hot and you want your makeup to like last and be extra set. So I kind of put this in my T-zone and under my eyes just for an extra bit of protection. I always clean my brows with a little Q-tip first to get any foundation or powder out and like there's always stuff in them before using just some clear brow gel. This is the benefit one just to set them in place. I kind of give them a really good scrub before putting them where I like them to sit. One of my favorite steps that literally transforms any makeup look is the eyes. So I use an eyelash curler to curl my lashes. My one's from Dior. I really, really like it. I find it works great. I feel like I look so funny curling my lashes. Like even that already just made the difference. You could just stop at that or add mascara, which of course I'm gonna do. My favorite mascara is the Rare Beauty one. I love it. I find it lasts all day. It doesn't get all flaky or anything. I could never be that girl that doesn't get mascara everywhere. <laughs> Q-tip for the win. Much better. Now you could just leave it here or take it even a step further, which <laughs> we all know I'm going to do. And I'm just going to add a half lash on. I really find it just makes the biggest difference. I use Jess Mars Beauty Lashes in, I think this is the style Elegant. I say I think because I've got like four different pairs of lashes in here. Let me do my lashes and I'll be back. Lashes are on and look at that difference. Also, pro tip, I didn't do it today because I've worn these lashes a few times, but if you get a fresh pair of lashes, once you glue them on, go back in with your eyelash curler and curl them. It kind of curls them in the way that your natural lashes are going and blends them and they just like, mm, they look so good. Oh, another nail just came off. My favorite lip line I always reach for is MAC in the shade Saw. I always make sure it's sharpened because precise Tip, stop it. A precise pencil means you get a precise line. And I do slightly overline my lips just to like give me a little something, you know? And then going in with my favorite lip gloss, the Dior Lip Oil in the shade Cherry. This is literally my holy grail go-to lip combo. And this applicator, honestly, I always rave about it because it's the softest thing I've ever put on my lips, like ever. Always finish with the last bit of setting spray with my fan. And that is my final makeup look. That's basically my go-to everyday kind of natural makeup. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you soon. Bye.